Hi everybody, it's Mr. C, and I'm so excited to be doing a super duper science experiment with you today. We're actually going to be building DIY race cars. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? This is the car we're going to be building with some cups, rubber bands, and straws. So we need some simple materials in order to make this work. We need some plastic cups, paper cups, doesn't matter what kind of cups, but you'll need lids with them. We need a pair of scissors. I have two paper clips. I've got a little push pin so that I can actually put a hole into my cups and get that started. I've got two little pieces of cardboard that are going to be used as stoppers. I have a hex nut and a pony bead. And I also have some tape, a marker, a pencil, and most importantly, a straw. First things first, take your marker. And what we're gonna do is we're going to mark the center or as close to the center as we can with our marker. Then we're going to use the push pin to put a hole right in the center. You wanna be careful with this because it is a sharp little pointy needle. And if you need help, have a grown up help you. Once you have those two holes in there, you're also going to put a hole into the cardboard right in the center. And you're gonna do that in both pieces. So then what we're going to do is we're gonna take our pencil and you're going to use the pencil to make that hole bigger. Perfect, so we have two holes in our cardboard. And now we're gonna try that with our plastic cup also. We just need to get that hole a little bit bigger. Oh, it broke my pencil. So if you have to use your scissors, have a grown up help you. But basically I'm just going to, there's an existing hole, I'm gonna just twist, go nice and slow, it'll work through. Once it goes in, you're just gonna kinda twist it to make it bigger. There we go, nice and big. That gives us lots of space to move the rubber bands through. And then we're gonna repeat that on the second cup. All right, once we get that in there, make the hole nice and big. Because what we're gonna do is we have to stack these up. And once we tape that together, those holes should line up pretty well so that the rubber band can go through without hitting the plastic. It looks like it's ready to go, so we're gonna take a nice long piece of tape. I'm gonna turn this on its side. And I'm going to tape all the way around. Perfect. As you can see, the hole goes straight through. And now, this is probably the most difficult part. We're going to take these two rubber bands and I'm gonna lay one underneath it, and then I'm gonna fold it through itself, and pull it back out. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a knot in the rubber band, and now I have one long stretchy rubber band, so I've doubled its length. And we're going to put that through one side. Now you're gonna grab a lid, you're gonna put the rubber band through the opening of the lid, through the cardboard, and then what you're going to do is take a paper clip and you're gonna hook the paper clip through like this so that when we apply pressure, the rubber band can't come out, right? Now, and then we have to push that rubber band through the hole. This gets tricky. Use your pencil, push it through. And then from the other side, grab it. Yes, I did it. I'm gonna push that closed. Now we have to do the same thing on the other side. We've got to put this through the lid. And now there's a lot of tension. All right, there we go. Close that, got it. Take our cardboard again. Push the rubber band through the cardboard. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have like a little hex nut and then I have this little bead, plastic bead. I'm gonna put it over this also, just because I wanna have, I wanna get this straw to be past the lip 
of the cup. Once I have those stacked on each other, I'm gonna take my straw. And once you get it in here, oh, finally, we're safe, we can breathe. Look at that, it's a race car. And you're wondering, where does it get its power from? Where does it get its energy from? Well, it's all about the rubber band. This rubber band, when we spin it, it starts to store energy inside the cup. Well, inside the rubber band, which is inside the cup. And soon, it'll be racing on our table. You're going to spin this over and over and over. The more you spin it, you'll start feeling that the rubber band is getting to be tighter to twist. More tension is building up. And all that stored energy is going to be what drives our car across the street, or across the table, or across your kitchen floor, or outside in your driveway. Then when you put it down, whoop! <laughs> I thought it was gonna go that way. So now when I put it down, I did it again. So now when I put it down, that's so cool. How awesome is that? You can build one of these also with a few simple materials that you already have at your house. That's what I love about doing science in my kitchen right here because I can show you all the cool things that you can do in your house with materials you probably already have. Now, if you wanna try something different, try different size cups, try thicker rubber bands, try longer rubber bands, change some variables, have some fun, and before you know it, you'll be racing all around. Thanks for hanging out with me today. What a fun camp experiment, right? See you later, bye.